Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. Okay, we have your message for you. We have crystals and you can do it. Okay, so there's something going on in your life where the universe is really encouraging you that you can do do it. Do this, do the thing that you're thinking about, do the whatever it is. They're just giving you this encouragement. You can do it. To help with that, you might want to use some crystals. I know not all of you are into crystals, but this is basically about using the magic of the earth here, using some beautiful energetic energy work or doing energy work that can really help you uh, do this thing <laughs> that's coming through. So you might like to use crystals to manifest or to bring give you the confidence of a positive outcome as well but yeah fantastic to come in you can do it so let's see let's look at the situation <laughs> that's coming in around this oh we've got the magician again this sense of working your magic you can do this you're working yeah again with the crystal energy so willpower and creation there's something amazing that you're potentially manifesting here or willing into creation so it's a really really potent manifestation energy with the magician coming through so i just keep getting energy work energetic 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 you can kind of work your magic with that and create some kind of really positive outcome with that which is really fantastic so let's see what's shifting and changing this week what's shifting and changing for Aquarius this week what energies are shifting and changing or situations are shifting and changing for Aquarius this week what's shifting and changing for Aquarius oh we've got two okay we've got cup four Neptune Cancer oh <laughs> They're jumping all over the shop. And the sun, Leo, Aries. Okay, so the cup four Neptune Cancer is where you just kind of felt bored, disillusioned, you're looking for more. And suddenly you're seeing, you, perhaps you've seen very clearly that there's something that's on offer emotionally that you just, you you need, you're kind of searching for something deeper here. Now the sun card's just blasting you, this sense of vitality. It's really guiding you towards a particular opportunity or a particular way of seeing something, wanting to kind of bring in this vitality and joy and bring in happiness with an emotional situation in your life at this moment in time. So that's fantastic. Let's see what, uh, what the universe, what message from the universe is coming in? What does Aquarius need at this moment in time? Okay, we've got, I surrender to a power greater than me. So it's kind of interesting because I, I kind of get that you're doing a lot of manifesting and energy work. You're possibly working with the quantum realm or different frequencies. And so this is where you kind of, yeah, it's about surrendering into your soul and spirit and working with those bigger energies, which is really fantastic. It says, when I leave, lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. So trust that the universe is helping you. It's kind of a co-creation energy is what I'm getting here with this. So universe is helping you work your magic with this, which is really fantastic. So if you trust the universe, then it's kind of bringing this sense of peace that comes through with this. And I've got the beautiful little owls as well. So I kind of get that you're connecting into your inner wisdom as well and potentially transforming something, which is really lovely. So let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards you this week that you may or may not know about? What's coming towards Aquarius this week that they may or may not know about? So what is coming in for Aquarius this week? We have the devil. Okay, so... This is where you are, yeah, I feel like this is, strangely enough, I feel like this is an old friend <laughs> or this is kind of you're working through something that has been interesting. They're showing me lots of things. This could be working through a block that's coming in. They could be working through some fear blocks that are coming up. But I get that there is, yeah, what's coming towards you is this sense of, Someone or an energy that you feel like you've stuck with. So let's see the consequences of that. You're working on it with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so 
Yeah, I mean, this is where you've got the you can do it, you're creating, willing something into creation, something hasn't been feeling great um, with that cup four, you're looking for something deeper and, and when you kind of go deeper and say well, what's been potentially kind of stopping me from stepping into this opportunity or potentially even draining my vitality, the universe is showing you it really clearly and actually also showing you how to work on it and how to, yeah, be able to move on from that, which is really fantastic. So let's look at the blessings that are coming in for the week. But this way, what they're also saying is this may be reflected back to you through a situation with a relationship that you've kind of either... Like there's an oldness, there's an old energy with this relationship. So it's like you're either working on the same thing together, like we're both working on the same blocks or there's something that's kind of got a bit stuck with that. So I do feel like there's another person here that you're potentially working with as well or working through a relationship with another person. So yeah, you're potentially going to get stuck on something and stuck with somebody. <laughs> But you're able to work with that and it could be somebody that you're working with, like somebody at your work. <laughs> so we've got, wow, blessings of the week, the tower, boom, in comes the tower. Something really unexpected is coming through here, unexpected blessing that comes through with the tower. Wow. Okay, I, I want to pull another card around that. What else is coming through with it? So oh, drop this card, the king of swords. Okay, so... This is some that like, potentially could be an Aquarius coming through uh, with this energy or it's the energy of Aquarius, which is a very progressive idea, thought, brilliant idea. It's just like um, unexpected strategy and plan that could come through with this as well with the King of Swords. But yeah, there, there could be some sort of unexpected decision that comes in that feels like a blessing. So yeah, it's, um yeah, I feel like the universe is kind of, Showing you something and then going, right, this is how we leap over it, which is really fantastic. So, yeah, I do feel like there's some sort of unexpected communication, news, blessing that comes in or decision that comes through that helps you potentially move forward in a positive way, which is really fantastic. So let's see what animal energy you're working with this week. What animal energy is Aquarius working with so the king of swords can sometimes be you know when you're talking to managers or bosses or people you know just having meetings there could be some sort of unexpected meeting with of where you're kind of talking something through that feels like there's blessings you know maybe it's a chat with a manager or a boss or a client or somebody it's just it's a very rational chat kind of energy but there's something kind of unexpected opportunity that comes through with it which is actually really good Oh, we've got crocodile. Okay, so this is the waiting game. You're playing the waiting game. You're kind of half in, half out with something, you know. It's a very liminal energy. The crocodile sees the opportunity, but it's like just waiting for the right time to snap and go, boom, I want this. So, yeah, interesting, and I feel like there's this, going to be this moment with the tower and the king of swords where something unexpectedly opens up that you have to kind of go for it. You can do it or you can do it kind of energy that comes through. And this is potentially something that you have manifested here with the crocodile energy. So interesting. So you may have been playing the waiting game, but not for much longer by, by the looks of this. So let's pull an affirmation card for you, Aquarius, and see what is going on. So when the time is right to strike, you will know it and you can do it, is the message that's coming in. So let's see. There is very much like a sense of there's one, there's, there's a particular opportunity that the universe is kind of wanting you to see and to go for. So let's pull an affirmation card that's coming in. Affirmation card for Aquarius. Affirmation card. We've got, I can release the past and forgive everyone. I feel like that's what this devil energy is because they're kind of wanting you to release an old energy here in order to make the space. So suddenly it cracks, like energetically something cracks open and this unexpected opportunity comes through, which is really fantastic. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free and I'm free to move into new glorious experiences. Beautiful. Okay, that's fantastic. So let's look at the potential outcome for the week. What is coming through for Aquarius? Potential outcome for Aquarius. Let's see. 
What is coming through for you? What did we get? Oh, the high priestess. We love it. Oh, you've got the magician and the high priestess. Wow. Very, very potent energies. Again, these two are like the master manifestors. We've got the high priestess, intuition, sacred knowledge. So I feel like with this tower energy as well, like boom, this could be some sort of really interesting download that comes in as a blessing this week, which is really fantastic. But it just feels like there's something very lucky. There's magic in the air with this. There's just like unexpected, unpredictable synchronicities, serendipities, opportunities that are coming through and it's just like, <laughs> just get, be prepared, get ready for this. But with the high priestess coming in, it's, it's really connecting you to your intuition in a really, really positive way. And something really potent and powerful here is being revealed to you. So yeah, something definitely like is being cracked open and it's, it just feels like, wow, okay, you're going to want to go for it. So fantastic with the high priestess coming through sacred knowledge and connecting into some of you might have some really interesting dreams. Um, yeah, I feel like you're kind of working with some interesting energetics and frequencies this week, Aquarius, where, like I said, there's this potent manifestation energy. So listen to that soul energy, listen to that intuition, listen to the messages from the universe that comes in little messages or chance meetings, or you look at the clock and it says 11, 11 or something like that. And just kind of pay attention to it and see what comes through and where you're being guided. So yeah, unexpected blessing comes in this week. Fantastic. So that's it, Aquarius. Uh, please let me know how this has resonated in the comments and please take care. And if you're interested in any of the services I have to offer, the link for that is in the description box below. And please like, subscribe and share and take care.